Try and become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay, welcome back to Fast Ship Performance there. My name is Tim Davies, and as you can see, I'm back in the attack shack, dropping truth bombs on your personal battlefields. I've got a young boy here, he's written to me. Uh, we'll call him Steve, it's not his real name, but you know, I don't wanna disrespect the dude. Now, he's written to me, he's got an issue, he's asked me to explain it to him. I don't wanna run this for too long. I've just been at a coronation event, come back a bit early. My hearing isn't as great as it was because of flying the hawk, so I don't really hear them too well. Left the wife down there dancing, I came back, and I figured I'd just make you a quick um, a video. Guy writes to me and he's bypassed my Kate, my, my Katie, my, my PA, by going through Patreon and buying me a cup of tea, which means I get to see it directly and Katie doesn't get to uh, touch his email. So, dear Tim, uh, I'm a 24 year old guy looking for guidance from someone I respect. I've done the right things. I have good GCC, some A levels, and a degree. I've done a few things, climbed a lot of mountains, uh, been around the world a bit. I've worked hard to get here. COVID nearly destroyed my higher education when my uni shut its campus, which happened to a lot of people, of course. So I've got jobs sometimes working 60 hours a week while studying at night with Open University. That is solid work there, okay? So at least what the guy's done here, he's 24 years old, but he's got himself a background that when he is my age, which is almost 50, he's not gonna look back on his life and think, if only I got myself a solid foundation in some kind of trade or some kind of academic uh, qualification. Here's the thing though, I feel like a waste of space. That's what he writes here, my boy Steve. My credentials are okay, but not shiny enough for most graduate schemes. I turned to the Royal Marines, but narrowly failed my aptitude test for officer and can only reapply in November. It seems that I would never reach an interview stage anywhere where I could explain my motivations and abilities. I fought at the first hurdle. As you said, nobody is coming to save me. That's a fact right there, especially if you're a young dude over the age of 18. No one really cares about you. Your mum will say she cares about you. That's absolutely fine. But the truth is you're expendable. Look at those dudes in Ukraine and Russia at the moment. Expendable. He's recognized that. That's a good thing. It's my burden to find a way out of trading my life away one at a time for £10 on zero hour contracts. I love the outdoors, wild spaces, working with other men. I speak well, hold myself well, top tips, do that if you can, but I feel totally trapped battling to even stand still. This will sound stupid, but I feel old at 24. This is very common. I get a lot of young people writing to me saying, I feel old. I believe it's to do with um, COVID and the pan pandemic. I believe that's why a lot of people are feeling old because it was such an unusual thing to go through. They didn't really have a normal sort of last three years or whatever, you know what I mean? Like at university partying, they weren't, they were just shutting their dorm rooms and stuff, having to work, it's, and that's horrible. Anyway, irrespective of the politics, guys, the pandemic began where I was 21. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to waste my 20s or wake up 30 still working in kitchens or shop floors. Yeah, fair enough, mate. What course of action would you recommend to a man in my position? What questions have I failed to ask? How can I find a role where I can offer something to the world? Purpose, that's what he's talking about. You're someone who has thought about such issues carefully and you speak convincingly about them. Well, that's very kind of you, man. I appreciate that. This is a particularly male problem. Men need purpose, direction, a sense of competency and dignity. Yeah, I'd say it probably is. You'll get a lot of hate for that from, let's say, women, if there is such a thing as women anymore. But I do believe that purpose is a, a uniquely male issue here. And it says, if you have any advice or even criticisms of my beliefs or attitudes, it would be very much appreciated. Keep doing what you're doing. Your voice is unique. Yeah, absolutely. I was turned down for giving a talk the other day at the uh, Royal Aeronautical Society, by the way. I'm supposed to get down there, sit on a panel. They phone me up a day later saying you're not needed anymore. So yeah, people don't want me around Fucking bro, you know what I'm saying? Build your own system, mate, that's what I'm doing. Create my own school, I don't know. Like Catherine Burbel saying in London, create your own school. He also carries on a little bit here, he, he said, um, I, I wrote to him, Steve, I recorded something to help you out, buddy, and I did record something, it was 30 minutes, and I sent it back to him, so he's already got this. This is for people that, obviously, might benefit from this. He says, I get a bit wordy, but I hope the basic substances of my questions were clear. If it's the kind of thing others would value, as it might well be, feel free to use it, look, what we don't need is young people slipping into victimhood. I find myself doing it sometimes. Uh, I don't want to see that. No one wants to see that. So let's just let's just get real with this, okay? A young dude here feels a bit lost. Understandable. Trying to go for the wrong range, getting knocked back. Understandable. Similar to my thing. I was 24 when I got knocked back from the Navy. I applied uh, six months later, got back to another inter average interval board, and, and I got in on that, all right? But this is aptitude. He's got an aptitude test issue. So November, you can wait till November. That's kind of suck. And I would say, though, Big Steve here, my G, if you uh, write to them and just say, look, can I come back in six months? They may say yes. We'll see. We'll see what they say. They might say yes. He's working hard. And I would always say that. As long as you're working hard, you've always got that. So when you don't think you're, you're that good. I mean, I went to the, my, my own gym yes, uh, last week, sorry, three times out of a possible six. It was hard work for those three times, but I didn't I didn't make what I should have been doing. And I could sit here now feeling really sorry for myself, but you know, I had a bad week. 
110%, not like a weird one or anything, you know what I mean? But I just had a bad week. Still went to the gym three times. Most people would probably never go to the gym once. Still went to the gym three times. So although I might sit here going, I'm not impressed with myself, that's just not too bad, mate, to be fair. I took a cup of tea out there, you know what I mean? British, innit? And actually, I went to a coronation thing tonight for our king, King Charles III. God save the king. Long live the king. I'll do a tea, mate, because I'm not drinking right now, you know what I mean? So... We've got an issue. One of the biggest things in this that jumps out at me is I feel like a waste of space. And that upsets me a little bit because no young person, woman or man, should feel like a waste of space. Everyone's got their, their adventure, they're going to be on their journey. But I know what it's like to feel like a waste of space. 110% I know what it's like. So I get that. And what all I'd say, all I'd say there is you've got to do something that gives you value because it's really difficult to advise people um, on how to look after themselves and move forward if they don't value themselves in some way. And how do we value so Well, we try and eat properly, we try and sleep properly, and we try and actually do some exercise of sort. This guy's got to start hitting these things. Looks like he is hitting these things. He was applied to the Marines, solid. My dad was royal, as, you, as people know on here. My dad was a royal Marine. And uh, I'd always recommend royal, anything like that for, for most people to go into if you're interested in something that's gonna give you some, some sense of purpose in life. Because there's three things that make up motivation in the workplace. So when you're thinking about motivation in the workplace, just take these three things on board, guys. Competence, autonomy, and relatedness. How competent do I feel in my job that I'm doing? How autonomous is the job I'm doing? Like, do I have, can I, can I do it whenever I want? Can I, you know what I mean? And am I related to the people that I work with? Pushing trolleys, well, I'm a trolley pusher, right? So I'm obviously competent. Autonomous, well, I can pick a trolley up now or I can go and get it in 10 minutes time and have a cigarette with my boy, Rick, uh, that I was pushing trolleys with when I was uh, you know, 18, 19 years, years old down in Portsmouth. Or uh, I'm related to this, my boy, Rick, he was a gamer, I was a gamer, keeping it old school, you know what I mean? We can do it for anything, doctors, architects, pilots, um, my bin, the guy who picks up my bin, solid dude. Decent. One of the things I said to him, obviously he's reaching out for a graduate training schemes. If he's looking for, say, John Lewis graduate training scheme, I assume they do one. I'd write to people that are managers of John Lewis. I say, please, can you just give me 10 minutes of your time? I'll come into the store, sit down with them and just speak to them. And on the application, you can say, hey, I've spoken to this manager at John Lewis and just, you know, how are you going to add value on that scheme? That's what they want to know. And I've talked about value before. Why do you want to be there? You know, what's your motivation for being in the scheme? All that kind of stuff. There's not much more you can do about Royal, the Royal Marines at the moment. He's got to get through the aptitude test, fair enough. Of course, he doesn't have to be an officer. He can go in as, um, like my father did. My father was one of the men. My father wasn't commissioned. He was a corporal in the end and then he left into the police force. So you could do that. What would I recommend to a man in this position? You've got to hit the floor, get back up again. That's called a burpee. Keep hitting those, all right? Square away your nutrition. For a young man like this, it doesn't really matter if he's taking in sugar and that kind of stuff, apart from the mental aspects of it. But as you age, that's a, that is sugar's a poison, I hate to say it, and it's going to keep you sad and everything else and make things inflamed. For a young dude, though, it doesn't matter too much about sugar. But really look after that nutrition. Try and get your protein in a week if you possibly can. Although protein's getting expensive, of course, we all know that, and he's a young dude. Yeah, how can you find a role? Well, here's the thing. So you think that someone else, someone else's work is going to give you a role, right? Going to give you a purpose. You're going to go into a company that's going to be a purpose, all right, for you. Look at me. I'm creating it myself, okay? Because people don't want me to speak anywhere. If you're a whistleblower or whatever, uh, as commendable as that might be, and it wasn't intentional, okay, when I spoke out about the Royal Air Force, that will, that will carry with you, 100% carry with you. I recognize that. People don't want me to speak at their conferences. They don't want me to be on a panel, whatever. I'm doing it myself. You watch this space, Fast Jet Performance Conference, whatever it's going to be called, okay? I'm going to start on myself. So don't rely on other people for your value or your purpose. Create that yourself. Okay, just be that big dude that walks into a room that people kind of look at and go, hey, he's looking after himself. Right, that guy's taking care of himself. That's the guy to be. And we do that through sleep, nutrition, and exercise. Education as well, but it looks like you're doing pretty well at that. So I did actually write down something. I was in my gym. I'll put this up on the screen here. And I wrote down something when I was, I was, I was lifting a little bit. I've got a bit of a shoulder issue. I wrote something on my uh, board. I'll put it up here. I was working out, having to think about stuff. Pride in yourself. Got to have pride in yourself. How do you expect anyone else to take pride in you, or not take pride in you, to, to pay you attention if you're not taking pride in yourself, all right? That's really, really important. I don't want to talk about this next bit. I wrote it down there. I'll talk about it a bit later. It's called the magic minute. When you are feeling really low, you think, I'm not going to do that next set. Just give yourself a minute. Stand still. Normally that feeling passes. Get back into it. Consider writing a mission statement for yourself. This man talks about purpose here. I have a mission statement. My name is Steve, and I want to be doing something that is bringing purpose to a select bunch of individuals. Make it as specific as you can. Hammer that home. Whenever you wake up in the morning, have a look at that. But write it on paper. Don't write it on your phone. No one's going to open an app on their phone. Write on paper. Stick it on the mirror. My name is Steve. Um, my my purpose is to help people understand 
uh, calculus or whatever it is, or you've got a YouTube channel or some shit like that, okay, whatever. My name is Tim. My purpose is to help people undo a lot of their problems, whatever, through uh, flying training on software-based applications in Shadowlands. That's my school, you know that, guys. Obviously, it does come back to standards. Standards are lowering. So if you're a young dude right now, you're paying attention to yourself, you're hitting the floor, getting up again, one burpee, there you go. You're eating properly, you're getting your sleep, you're trying to switch off all that social, mate. Stop being a dick lord, get off all that stuff, okay? Then you are above 95% of people. It's not difficult to accelerate yourself at the moment because it's an absolute mess. So just do the basics right. I've written something down here. Safe space, trigger warning, all that kind of rubbish. Yeah, suffering. Okay, so if we skip, forget the other bit, I also go into my kind of lifting mode. Oh, it's about trigger. Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Suffering, that's the last thing I wanna talk about real quick. Try and become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Have a think about that for a second if you need to, mate, just, just you know. The more uncomfortable you are, the more comfortable you should be. And I know it's hard, oh, 100% it's hard. I wanna go and eat everything in the house. I stopped drinking January 1st. I'm not talking about it, don't worry about it, it's all right. I was at a function tonight, everyone's caning on the lagers and they, man, that's me. 100%, I fucking miss that shit, I just do. I just wanna smash beers, and that's fine. It's uncomfortable for me, but I'm becoming more comfortable with that discomfort, and it's only gonna to lead to a better me, right? I'm losing weight, all right, I'm lifting more, feeling a bit stronger, able to do more in the gym. Diet's much better, by the way, and actually over the last few weeks, I haven't really been thinking about it at all. They do say it takes about three months for the brain to kind of rehash itself and get out of alcohol and stuff, and you know, I'm doing all right with it, so, that's what I'm saying. I'll say to this young boy here, you've got to submit like a turbo amount of applications. I would submit an application to like a grad scheme and I'd wait three weeks and submit another application. Just say, just in case the first one, was, you didn't get the first one and then just keep submitting them. You know what? If you kick at a door enough time, someone's going to open it for you. And I, I don't want to go into it guys because this video is going too long. But the only reason I flew jets is because I went and spoke to the Commodore at Cranwell. What is this jet thing about? I don't know much about it. And he said, hey, do you want to fly jets? And I was like, I was just average like everyone else in the Navy at the time. I was a Naval officer at the time flying down at Parks and Heath near Cranwell. And I said, well, I don't know much about jets. I don't know much about Sea Harrier tour. I've done some reading on it, but everyone seems to want to fly helicopters. He was a helicopter mate himself. And he said, well, if you want to fly jets, you can go fly jets to him. I was like, I genuinely don't know. I don't know much about it. He goes, why don't I put you down for jets anyway? Just stream me jets. And that's how I got stream jets. I did all right through training and ended up flying jets. People always say, you don't get it if you don't ask for it. I'm different. I'm like, you've got to tell people you're doing it. I don't care whether I don't get into the John Lewis management scheme this particular year. I'm going to apply again next year. I'm going to apply in six months time. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm applying to Marks and Spencers. I'm applying to Amazon. Tell people, look, I'm there for you. I, I know everything about John Lewis. All right, I've read everything about it. I've even spoken to a John Lewis manager. This guy is actually doing all right. He's going through the rites of passage everyone goes through in their early 20s. I know it doesn't help him to say that. Keep the application into the Royal Marines. I would really think about the core values though of yourself. Really think about your own standards, okay? Who are you, you know? What's your purpose? We can't all go out there and march on Jerusalem on a crusade. It's not gonna happen, not for us. But there are other crusades we can have. And that's by living a wholesome, decent life, being a good human being. What I'm saying is be a stand-up guy. Don't be a dick. You're doing the right thing. And just understand that that suffering has to happen. Maybe I've given you something there, maybe I haven't. I hope everyone listens to this, maybe that will help you out. 20 minutes, guys. I thought I'd nip back and just do this real quick because it's not like I don't want to dance around the place or anything. My wife's leaping around like a salmon down there. If you're not drinking it, it's kind of just a bit weird after about 10 o'clock, nothing good happens. Um, so I thought I'd nip back. Hopefully this is some value to people. I'll stop this now. Hey, I really appreciate it, all right? Tim Davies, Fast Ship Performance.